Got my bag, shawty with me, I ain't stepped up GTA for the ops, they don't let stop Hey, yo, shout out, I shout out, let's do it Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do what you saw in the intro. So, pretty much I just have my new ident, which I made in After Effects, sorry, but um, then I have a clip, it's my clip actually, so stop complaining that I'm using someone else's clip in the comments. And now I have my song, which is GTA by Rotten. So let's just watch what I have so far. So it's not synced already, I have the, the shot synced, but yeah, so this video I'm also going to show you how to do like a cool build up for the snipe and also have some sound effects. So let's do the velocity first, so let's go to retime controls and retime curve, and make sure your, um, your audio is unlinked from your clip for that, and also what you're going to want to do is zoom in where you shoot, and then cut it before the headshot sound effect, so I'm going to mute my audio for the song. And so right here, that's the headshot sound effect. So I'm gonna bring that back over by the main beat drop, and then I'm gonna unmute this and zoom back out and go up to the retime controls, retime curve. And so then right here, you're gonna click this arrow and um, click retime speed and unclick retime frame. And then let's go here. And so now pretty much go to the first frame where you stop, when you don't see your scope anymore. So that's right here. At a speed point and go right first frame you see the numbers so right there you can kind of see the numbers right there so then just add another speed point and then put your playhead over the marker on the main beat drop and then just drag these down so it's slow and now what you're going to do is go retime scaling and then make this optical flow and make this smoother this is pretty much um twixter just built into davinci resolve so now what you're going to do is just to make it a little bit smoother, you're going to want to um, right here add a speed point and make this just look this these few frames just drag it up to 300% just to make it a little smoother. And so now what you're going to do is on here you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, add a speed point, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, add a speed point. And you zoom in here, drag this all the way up to 300 make this 150 or so and then drag this down to like 50 percent and so now it'll just look like this so it looks pretty good now um it doesn't look the best so now let's add some sound effects so pretty much um i'm gonna link in the description a um google drive pretty much what you're going to do is just download all of these um some of them from Maxi's video, so go sub to him, and then the other ones, I don't know where they're from, but my boy Mace gave them to me, so I'll link him in the description, go sub to him. Pretty much just download all of these, and then you can just have them in your folder, and you can drag them to DaVinci Resolve whenever you want. I put them in my power bin, so here are all my sound effects. And so pretty much this is the best one, this is what most people have been asking for. It's this, like, cool bolt one. I'll play it. That's, I think that's the coolest. So pretty much what you're going to do is... Drag it down to when you shoot. So right around there, go to your marker. Find when it shoots, so it's like right around, whoops. Right around here. And then, here. So that's good, and then another thing you can do for like these like slow motions, this shin drop one's really good too. I use that. Drag that down. And just expand this and pretty much just line this little impact point up with the bolt thing so it'll sound like this now um and then just cut this down and also another thing you might want to do is um lower the volume because max volume sometimes just makes it a little distorted so it doesn't sound the best but just lower it down a few decibels whatever So there you go. Um, all right. So now in the description, I linked um, Google Drive. It's gonna have the sound effects, as I said, and then it's also gonna have this um, project file with ha which has all of the presets and everything. So you just download that, and it'll give you this. So I'm gonna close out of DaVinci Resolve to show you how to use it. I'll save. Just double tap it to open, and I'll just load DaVinci. You're gonna need Sapphire plugins for this and DaVinci Resolve 17. 
which is pretty easy to get. And if you get DaVinci Resolve 17, um, it saves all your progress and all your presets and everything, so you don't lose anything. And so now something's going to pop up. It's going to say, choose the name for the project. And so pretty much it could pop up anywhere. So it could pop up behind this. So for me, it popped up on my second monitor. So just look everywhere for that and just press OK. And then it should open it automatically. All right, so it opened it and then here are your presets, all that. And you're just gonna bring them with your power bins. So if you don't see that, just go to uh, view and then show power bins. And then pretty much just make a new bin and just select all of these by pressing control and then drag them all into there. They're all there and you can use them in any project you make. So now let's just go back to um, using them. All right, so now once you do that, what you're gonna wanna do is Go to the bin you made, and now just drag this one called Reddish. Now, it doesn't look the best right now. I know, it's kind of ugly. It's a little too red. Also, another thing, guys, um, if you want to change the color, if you don't want this to be red, just go to the color tab and um, go here and just change the hue. So, 10 is green, and then, like, 30 is, that's ugly. Um, 70 is, like, purple, and, like, 90 is blue. So just mess around with that, but I'm going to keep mine at red. But pretty much what you want to do is go to Fusion, Control Space, and then add Color Corrector. Add that, hold Shift, and drag it in between. And then pretty much what you want to do is go to Gamma and turn it down to 0 0.6, so it's a lot darker. And that'll make it look a lot nicer. Yeah, it looks already pretty nice, but that's not it. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to look up in your effects. Just look up Hot. It's, you need Sapphire plugins for this. Drag that on. Looks bad at first. Uh, changes to pink. And then threshold. Up the brightness. Get the saturation. Make it a little brighter, maybe. No, make the brightness like 2.5. And this kind of just adds a little bit of a. Uh, I don't know, it just makes it look a lot nicer and everything, so that's good, and then maybe you can just, if you have this on here, you can just do this, you can, um, you can save this whole thing with the gamma and the red, just go to file and rename it to something and just drag it back in here, and you have another one, so you can use this whenever you want, but now what you want to do is get this thing called 5 frame red, it's like a little beat impact, and you're going to want to go to where you shoot the gun, Go two frames from the, the, the beat drop, so one, two, to the left, and then drag this over here, so it goes like That's perfect. And now you're going to want to get the warp pre-shake, so just drag this over, line it up with the end beat shake, end beat drop, my bad. Extend those, and now let's just take the pre-shake. So this one automatically by default has like a saturation fade you can keep this if you want but if you don't just go to the color tab and just delete the keyframes and it should go away <coughs> and so pretty much if you want to make it warp more um just go here and then at the very end just change this to like 0 0.75 so it like warps even more so there that is and yeah, so now I'll show you how to use some more of the sound effects, so this one build up MP3. I've used this one in a few of my videos before. Just wanna drag this down. Send this. Pretty much you just wanna sync up this big part with the beat drop so that looks good. And this one's usually really loud, so you might want to turn it down a bit. It's really good. Yeah, so that's good. Um, and also another thing I forgot. Um, this Y impact shake, you just put this on your beat and it just gives it like a little shake. Just makes it look good. So yeah. And just make sure it's nice down the right way. If this video helped you or you enjoyed it in some way, um, like, subscribe, and add a comment, all that good stuff, and see ya.